Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Remus at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you some uh, end cloth and uh, end dynamics basics and I'm going to do so by showing you guys how you can create a tent shape using end cloth. Uh, now it's not going to be the most perfect tent in the world. Uh, the whole idea is to teach you guys or to show you guys what I found to be uh, workable and uh, I encourage you to play with the settings and obviously create your own objects and uh, you know figure out how it's all working. Okay let's get started. So we're gonna start off in our uh, polygons menu. I'm just gonna select a simple polygons plane. I'm just gonna drag that out in the grid something like that and then I'm going to go into my attribute editor and if that doesn't pop up hit Control A go to my uh, polyplane tab and I'm going to increase the subdivisions to 40 and 40 something like that okay I'm going to hit E to rotate oh, get out of the screen first hit E to rotate and let's see what my angle is I'm going to rotate to 45 degrees I'm just going to hit W and pull it up a little bit something like that I'm gonna hit control D to duplicate it pull it over and rotate it the other way around so we should be at 135 there we go I'm just gonna go to my uh, side view and I'm just gonna move these two together hit W like that shift select both of them gonna go to mesh and combine so now it's one object okay now next we're going to create a very simple tube uh, system to make it look a little bit more like a tent so I'm just gonna create a polygon similar here drag that out Hit E to rotate it to minus 90. And I'm just going to go to my other views to position it correctly. So I'll hit W, move that in, something like that. Hit R to scale it out, something like that. W to move it up, not all the way something like that and then control D to duplicate it E to rotate it to zero we're gonna hit W to move that to the end here and we're gonna hit R to scale it down scale it down some more anyway you get the idea okay something like that hit control D move that over to the other end something like so and let's see how we're doing from this view Move that one in position. Move that one in position. And move that one in position. Okay. Anyway, you get the idea. Right? So now we got that. <coughs> now, I'm just going to hit 5 for shaded mode. We're going to select our tent cloth and we're going to go to our end dynamics menu. We're going to go up to end mesh and create end cloth. So now this uh, tent cloth is an end cloth object. Next part is this. Um, we need to create some animation frames for the, uh, the end cloth to play out. So let's do 
200 frames, something like so. And we need to make sure that certain points are fixed, otherwise the whole cloth will just fall straight down. So in order to do that, we're going to select the cloth, right click on it, go to vertex. We're gonna zoom in to the top here and we're going to drag select the top row of vertices. We're gonna go to end constraint and transform. We're gonna do the same below. So select it again, right click, go to vertex, drag select and just take the bottom row hopefully oh, it's a little bit too much actually I'll do this in this view here that works a little bit better so I'm not at an angle okay so drag select get the bottom row okay and constraint and transform and we got the other one at the same time okay all right <coughs> so now we've got the ten pole set up, we've got the cloth. Now if we hit play in our animation, you will see that the end cloth will start to react. And there we go. Alright. Now and as you can see it's uh the cloth is acting nicely. It's uh coming in a bit far uh, but there are some settings that you can play with to correct that and I'll show you where if you select your cloth material and then you go into your attribute editor you got an in cloth shape tab and in this tab you got a presets button now if you select that there are a number of presets that you can use uh, you can select silk and hit replace but you can also select burlap and hit replace now, uh, each material has um, certain uh, properties uh, regarding stretch and so on. So if you want this cloth to respond differently, you can play with those settings. And in addition, if you go into the end shape yourself, uh, in the end shape, uh, end cloth shape tab yourself, there are uh, certain settings that you can play with. For example, stretch resistance, you can play with that, uh, you know, bend resistance and so forth. Um, all of that will, you know, change the properties of the cloth, but in short, this is uh, one way that you can do it. At least this is how I do it. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you get any questions, leave them in the comments sections, uh, and uh, hope to see you guys again. Thank you. Bye.